Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. If you don't already, why don't you head over to at Everyday Joy Pod over on Instagram and you can catch up on some of the latest bits and pieces. You get to stay up to date and you get to see some fun little snippets of myself and our guests. So why don't you get ready to dive into today's words to live by. Live together in peace with each other. Don't be proud, but be willing to be friends with people who are not important to others. Don't think of yourself as smarter than everyone else. That's Romans 12, verse 16 in the ERV Bible. Jackie, you are back in the studio. I just love hanging out with you, Jackie. It makes me so happy. It's the best. Makes me happy. happy. It's the joy in my week. It's the joy in my week. No pun intended. No pun intended. (laughs) We um we were just saying how you are kind of in this new season of life. If people haven't been listening recently, your son recently got married. Yes, he did. Yep. Moved out. Yep. You've gone from a household of three to a household of two. Yep, this is true. How it's you just... find it at all, Jack? It's it's really cool. Like it's absolutely fantastic to see like see them setting up their own house you know doing that little bit of nesting working out the dynamic of oh you're weird no you're weird (laughs) like how do we live together but then at the same time it's just me and my daughter at home and let's just say we are discovering just how alike we are (laughs) Much to her dismay, much to my amusement. <laughs> She's like, oh, no, oh my, I'm turning into mum. Right, right. Like we'll be driving along and hit a pothole or something and we'll both just exact same time, exact same time, just go, ooh. And then she looks at me and she's like, I am dying. And I'm like, oh, this is so funny. You know, you never forget that first moment when as a as a new parent or as just as a parent when your kids start doing things and you react in a certain way and you're like no mm. i am my mother like the first time i corrected my kids grammar and i was just like, like i am my mum i am my mum no i'm getting married soon and you know just that whole phase of like yeah. motherhood or like parenting yeah. where you are like oh my goodness my kids are uh, moving out right? my life is changing again yeah. i saw this post on instagram and it literally made me ball my eyes out and it was just this little um text post where it said your mum's just growing up too yeah and it made me so emotional because i was like when you're young you think that your parents know everything. You yep. think that your parents had it all figured out. Yeah. But it's not until you kind of get to that stage of life where you just go, Mum's just figuring it out too. Like right? mum's never experienced this before. Jack, you've never experienced Ma- your kids leaving the yeah. house and you know, mums are just figuring it out as well. Yeah. Mums are just growing up as well, you know. Yep. So having grace for ourselves, having <laughs> grace for yourself, having <laughs> having the ability to go, this is scary, this is weird, yeah. this is different, but it's all exciting at the same time. Yeah, I mean, it's great. There, there are moments where you're like, oh, what the heck? But overall, it's just amazing. And to see your kids grow up and do amazing things and find their amazing person, it's so so cool now jack we're reading from romans 12 verse 16 live together in peace with each other don't be proud but be willing to be friends with people who are not important to others don't think of yourself as smarter than anyone else there's actually a lot in there Mm. isn't there like you know what is it what does it mean to live in peace like what does it mean to not be proud like is that just being arrogant or you know is that seeing yourself as better than other people um, you know, it says don't think of yourself as smarter than anyone, everyone else. But, you know, ha- what does that actually mean? I know I'm not smarter than some people, mm. but, you know, you're at, we're all on a scale. Like, <laughs> yeah. how do we act that out? Like, how do we actually, you know, what do we do with this? Yeah. yeah. It's so true. I think that, I don't know, when I, when I read this, it makes me, it makes me think about being really intentional in yeah. the way that I live my life. Yeah. I think that line where it says, be willing to be friends with people who are not important to others. It's such a call to action as Christians mm. to seek out loving for people who often aren't shown that care and that love yeah. and that support. And um, I don't know, it just, it reminds me that we all don't think the same. 
We yeah. all don't work the same. We all don't live the same. I had, I don't know, it makes me go, we all need to be willing to understand where each other are at. Yeah. It's this real kind of humbling moment of going, okay, God, I don't have it figured out. I can't just like yap away to people 24 seven and try and, you know, tell everyone how, how things are, but actually going, oh, it's actually my job to foster peaceful relationships yeah. and my job to make sure that um, I'm humble enough to take the back seat sometimes, not to always be like, right, not always be the one, you know, mustering up this, this, uh, what's the word? I don't know it, it just reminds me to kind of be humble and to and to pause and to let the Lord really be in relationships with other yeah. people. And I love what you said about being conscious about it because it's really easy to when you're a part of a friendship group or you're a part of like a say a ministry team at church or something like that. It's really easy just to be your focus ends at mm. the end of that group. Yeah. Um and it's that conscious moment of going hang on a minute you know, I can be friends with people outside my friendship group. Yes. I can see that person there. You know, put yourself, remember when you were at school and you had your friendship group, but you might have seen the kid over there that had no friends or that everybody thought was weird or, you know, just was new to school mm. or something like that. You can be friends with that person. Yeah. You can take that moment and go, how can I be something? How can I show the love of Jesus to yeah, that person? Totally. It, um... I don't know. It, re it reminds me of um, oh, th the other day I had a scenario with a friend and they said something to me and I was so shocked by what they said, right? I wouldn't say what it is, but like they basically said something that I was like, I can't believe you would even think that that's how I would feel. I was so shocked that they yeah. thought I was upset about something or disappointed about something. And I was so shocked. And my reaction was very... Maybe abrasive is the right word. I think my reaction was very quickly like, what are you talking about? That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Like, I went straight to being like, that is maybe the silliest thing you have ever said. Like, And I came from it from a place of trying to, what's the word? Like allay their yeah, to, concerns. Yeah, to, to allay yeah. their concerns. Yeah. However, I wasn't taking into account how this person's feelings were mm. I didn't take into account the fact that them saying that came from a place of like they like they didn't just say it for no reason they said it because it came from a place of feeling like that yeah. so whether I had done something whether it was their expectations whatever it was I had a real moment where I was like yeah. oh I actually have to humble myself in this moment yeah. just because I think that it's an outrageous thing to say doesn't mean that it's okay for me to go oh well that's dumb that's a silly yeah. thing to say I actually need to take the time to understand to live in peace with each other not to be proud not yeah. to have these things and to go hey why do you think like why do you feel like that like talk to me about it rather than yeah. jumping straight to this point of like yeah I'm right you shouldn't have yeah, even said heck? that what the heck <laughs> but actually just to humble myself yeah. enough to hear her point of view yeah absolutely and this is like I was li I was actually listening to a podcast this week that very much embodies what you were just talking yeah. about and they were talking about how the most it was a leadership podcast it was, they were talking about it in an organizational context yeah but saying that the most important thing is having trust yes and the way this guy was talking about trust was saying um you know one of the most important things is when you have an expectation and when somebody's actions don't meet your expectation, yes. how do you fill the gap between your expectation and their actions? So in that case of what you're talking totally. about, how do you fill the gap between what your friend said yep. and what you th thought, right? Totally. And your reaction was so human. And totally. it's so what we all do as humans. We fill it with, well... How dare you not understand me? How you're wrong? Totally. You know, you're con I don't have that context, you know, da, da da da. But then when you turn that around and you fill that gap mm -hmm. with trust and with an expect, you know, with saying without saying it overtly, but essentially saying to somebody, "No, I trust you." Yeah. You're a good person. I know you. You're my friend. Yeah. 
So you've said that like exactly like mm-hmm. what you said. You've said that for a reason because your context, your emotions, the way you process mm-hmm. the world is telling you that that's what you're experiencing. Yeah. And at the same time, your actions didn't meet her expectation. And so then that's where conflict starts, right? Exactly right. right. And I think the benefit of this scenario is we do have that trust. So that means that even when it happens, we're able to heal it super quick and figure it out. But we were talking about it before, Jack, when you have the opposite, right? So when you don't trust someone, when you don't have that level of like, uh, yeah, support and trust from someone. Yeah. You could have a scenario like I just shared where, you know, you have this gap of expectation, you have Mm -hmm. this gap of communication, whatever it is. But because there's trust, you deal with it quickly, you love quickly, you you get back to where you are very quickly. You have the exact same scenario happen with someone that you don't trust. Yeah. That can almost be an instant line in the sand of like, I'm never going to trust you again. This isn't right. Like you're this and this and this. And so I think what you were saying is so good. It's managing one, our expectation of the gap. And it's also being aware of that Mm -hmm. gap. I don't think I've had someone articulate it as well as you just have, Jackie, of when you have relationships, when you communicate, when you have moments of disagreement there is always going to be a gap and that needs to be filled with something yeah and it's going to be either filled yeah. with trust grace and the love of jesus yeah or it's going to be filled with the opposite of that yeah, exactly and so i think exactly what you're saying is this verse is saying hey you need to fill this gap with peace with humility yeah with love and when we can do that yeah that means that those dis disagreements those moments of struggle those moments of where it's not maybe peaceful for a moment yeah can be healed rather than being escalated yeah absolutely and i know that we're gonna here's the easter egg for tomorrow i know we're going to talk a, a little bit about this in a different context tomorrow yeah, a bit more practical a bit more practical tomorrow yeah so it just so feels i love what you said that it fills the gap with not just trust but the love of god mm. and that you know um desire to see another person in a really good way totally and that's because that's how we see ourselves and when somebody else sees us like that it's like god seeing us how he how he meant us to be yeah out of today's episode if you can get anything it's be aware of that gap so easy just to let life happen to us whether it's getting frustrated at a scenario maybe it's articulating and communicating something poorly and not being able to kind of reflect in that gap let's fill the gap with trust with the love of jesus with grace and with peace you know maybe you're in a scenario right now where you just know that there is a gap in a relationship there is a gap in your communication whatever it is your application one prayerfully begin to ask god how you can deal with it and second put trust in that gap obviously we be wise and discern but let's take the time to make sure that we are allowing the peace the joy and the trust that comes with Jesus into our relationships. Cannot wait to dive even deeper into the Word of God with you tomorrow, but until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy.